Elon Musk wants America to be more like China. That's interesting. Welcome everybody to the Hot Pop Boys. Elon Musk has just complimented the Chinese work ethic in China and has also said that Americans try to avoid work. Run the clip. I think there will be some very strong companies uh, coming out of China. There's just, just a, a lot of super talented, hardworking people in China that are um, strongly believe in, in, in manufacturing. They won't just be burning the midnight oil, they'll be burning the 3 a.m. oil. <laughs> so um, they, they won't even leave the, leave the factory type of thing. Whereas in America, people are trying to avoid going to work at all. David, a lot of people feel some type of way about this, but I feel like a lot of people are not denying the facts. Yeah, I have never seen a wider range of disagreement where nobody is actually disagreeing with the premise. Everybody uh, acknowledges that what Elon is saying is most likely true. I think the numbers show it to be true. The most uh, productive gigafactories for Tesla are in Shanghai. Uh, however, a lot of people were saying, come on, Elon, you want us all to be repressed, oppressed, robotic slaves like the Chinese? I can't live like that. The a factory worker's only making 1500 a month, man. You got to get out of here, man. If you like it so much, you go move over there and live the 996 lifestyle. I, I, and it's really interesting because people can't deny the facts, but people are still really angry. And I want to talk about why so many people are very upset about this. Like, why are they actually mad? Here's the real truth behind it. Dave, what's your take? Well, I think that people in the West, particularly like if you made me say, I don't know, maybe a lot of white people more have achieved, uh, and, and I'm not saying only limited to white people, but like achieved a middle or upper middle class lifestyle that they feel is really well balanced and really fairly or well compensated. And they feel like Elon saying that because they do value what Elon says is a threat to that. And they also want to maintain the number one positioning of America or the Western world uh, while not necessarily changing their work habits. Because they see China coming up. They see people sleeping at the factory. They see people just doing whatever. You know, I'm not saying the life over there is great or their life for your average person is better than the West, which I certainly don't think it's as comfortable. Yeah. But uh, they're pumping the numbers. No, listen, listen. I'm born and raised in America. I like my life in America. I'm not rushing to move over there to work in an office in a tech job or a tech factory, by the way. But what I will say is this, every time it seems like when it comes to kind of brain work and people put in the work on things that people like, like a non-sports thing, people don't value it. But it, people only value hard work when it comes to sports. Like, oh my gosh, look at that guy, man. He made it on the team. He's getting playing time by just hard work and hustle, man. I respect that. I love it. He's a savage. And then when it comes to mathletes, like people who are in math competitions, people say, Man, look at all these nerds putting in all this time studying math. What are you doing? It's just numbers. Yeah, it does remind me a little bit of uh, this guy called Tommy Chin that I went to high school with. And he was probably like the number one guy in our whole grade, number one or number two at math. And I remember one time I was hanging out with some more like jocular non-Asian friends, you know, white and black. And I complimented Tommy because, you know, real recognized real. I'm just saying, man, he, he crunches the numbers quick. And he was very stereotypical, sort of, you know, not cool looking. You know, I'll pop up a photo right here. Not of him, but, just, you know, somebody who looks like him. And then I remember um, this like, this cool white guy that we all knew. I don't know if I should say his name. Jeff, I won't say his last name. I almost <laughs> said, uh, he was just like immediately. I remember we had this like allergic reaction to me saying that. Uh -huh. And it always shocked me and it stuck with me where he was like, dude, that does not even count. Tommy got no life. He gets no girls. He's not cool. If I like just all I did was look at math books all day like him and I was a geek, I would be in the same math tier as him because he Jeff was kind of good at math, too. Not, mm -hmm. not on his level, though. Right, right, right. But, like, literally... Just not that, giving it props. Literally, work, that was just, work. like, an allegory or just an example of or an anecdote that really shows how people feel about Asians being more hyper-productive in a factory sense or an academic sense yeah. in the West. Yeah. They kind of discount it. They acknowledge it, but then they discount it because they go, oh, well, they're just, like, uh, robotic dweebs. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't count. Yeah, it is interesting. There's definitely a racial element to it. I'm not saying all comments are racist that are criticizing China's uh, work policies because even China had to outlaw their 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week work ethic, the 996 thing. That was getting out of hand. So China had to put an ax to that because they were like, oh, God, this is this No, is they were going hard. They yeah, were yeah. going 
super hard. Yeah, but actually, you know, the same things have been said about the Japanese, the Germans before, you know what I mean? And even maybe during a time in American history, Americans were working so hard during the Industrial Revolution, back into the 40s. Right. 1910s, you know, 1920s, you know, the, the roaring 20s. Right, when people are building these skyscrapers behind us and they're sleeping on the beams with their little sandwiches and their lunch pails and people are like, this is American excellence. We love this. And you know, there's a reason why there's all these skyscrapers in New York City and not in Europe. Yes. There's a reason why. Why? It's because they went and had that era yeah. when people in the France were like, yeah, you know, I'm enjoying my like six or seven uh, movement in 1922. Um, and uh, why the Americans always just like working hard, like trying to build the buildings? Yeah, no, I hear that when I meet Europeans like overseas. Yeah, and it's funny because America now is trying to move more towards a European mindset where they work 35 hours a week and um, have a lot of holidays. Yeah. And then if they move towards the European style, which may be better for quality of life, but worse for innovation and productivity, how can they complain that the Chinese productivity numbers are going to basically eclipse America, right? Like, the, like we said, the Shanghai Gigafactories are the most productive Tesla factories in the world. As far as like hardworking productivity, China is just being America like 80, 70 years ago. Yeah, so, but people are mad because I feel like it even goes to Harvard admissions where people like discount Asian, like good grades and good extracurriculars because they're like, yeah, they have boring personalities. And I, in a most messed up way, when I put on my Western hat, I see what they're saying because the Asians feel different. But I, I think it's just messed up to your point about the athletics where like they don't view our like uh, discipline or focus or impulse control as like talent. They just view it as like being a nerd, like yeah. a boring nerd. Whereas somebody who's born extra tall, um, is like, and, and fast twitch is like, is it great? That's God given talent, right? Or somebody who's really good looking and has sisters. So they get a lot of reps around women and they're like a ladies man when they get older, that's just like them yeah. being born with it. You know what I mean? But I'm like, wait, so people who are just like, kind of like sheltered from bad things, but just study all the, the time there, the, that, that's not talent though. The weirdest thing is people very much pick and choose when to give credit for hard work. That's a fact. Yeah, and, discipline and it depends and on how this person looks and that depends on how much props you're going to give them, you yeah, know? Yeah, because I think there's some sense of like some Tommy Chinization and, you know, shout out to Tommy. I think he's doing well for himself uh, in the medical world. But like I'm saying, he's like, it's like, well, what other option did he have? It's not cool, yeah. bro. Hey, guys, and listen, I'm not going to say that in China, these middle class workers have the same options as we do in America to watch Netflix, to go in this this rec league, to play fantasy football, to do all these other things no. that are great about America, that we love about America. They might not have a lot of those options. They're absolutely That's fine. A, a very much smaller, slimmer slice of distribution is living that like, you know, white picket fence, you know, dog, um, you know, uh, go to the aquarium zoo, play in like a high tier rec league for a sport lifestyle. Like it's just not like that. I don't think it's ever been like that. I think the population and the culture and the history like probably prevent that from ever fully happening, but they can still work towards having a good life. I don't know if they're there yet. They're still in the development no. process there. But yeah, I don't think anybody would say a middle class over there is better than the middle class in America for Yo, the most part. You know what's funny, man? Growing up in high school, I remember I had a teacher who took a trip to Europe and he was like, man, they do siestas and tea time out there. Like, what are they doing? They take breaks from work for like two, three hours. It's ridiculous. And then you look at America and Americans are like, hey, how do I only work four days a week? Like, I'm just trying to work four well, days. Can I, 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 can I, I just work 30 well, hours a week? Well, what, what you're, I think you're referring to is that there has been a shift in America over the years from the 1920s, obviously, to the 1950s, greatest generation, and all the way to 2022. I don't want to sound like a boomer. I'm just saying, literally, that is the like logical scientific arc of different empires. Sometimes empires, they achieve so much that for the most part, Andrew, I saw this comment from a white person that said, you know, the truth is in the West, we're just fighting for our, uh, between having a low luxury life and a high luxury life. And uh, if you work really hard and focus, you get a high luxury life. But at the worst, you might get a low luxury life. Whereas in China, they're just like fighting for a life. Wow. And that was a comment from a white person. I'll pop it up right here off the internet. Hey. Let us know what you think in the comments and, down below. And then some, they were also, another comment was like, hey, you know, we're just at that point. And maybe if China works really hard, their kids or their grandkids will be at the point we're at right now. Hey, maybe in 30, 40 years, Chinese are all relaxing in the sun. They're all trying to figure out a four, oh, four day work. To week. your point, uh, Japan's already there a little bit. Yeah. Japan is already uh, 
past their ultra work yes. hard arc still work hard but not as hard as they used to let us know what you think in the comments down below i mean i think that there is no debate on the facts but it's all about your opinion on where everybody's at in this whole timeline of history, guys. Let us know what you think about the Chinese work ethic or the American work ethic in the comments down below. Um, thank you so much for watching. We are the Hot Pop Boys, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.